enough savings Who much for your confidence? And you feel learn for depend for yourself Do you like a 9 to 5 me darling But like you check for Friday morning Somehow no don't use conscience Rather buy here before you buy it Cock up in a man Welcome back to Leona's Kitchen again Thank you guys for tuning in to my channel Today I'm gonna be cooking some Caesar rice Right guys? So that's one of my favorite meals to cook as well So I'm gonna be throwing it down okay guys so here I have all the ingredients that is laid out that I'm gonna be using I have my shrimp that's washing some lime and vinegar with water I got my sawfish it's already washed and I also boil it two, two times I have boiled my sawfish so that's ready to be picked out and everything I have my black pepper my garlic powder I'm gonna be using some coconut milk my linstead aki my pumpkin cock soup some mixed vegetable and guys this is the sawfish that i use in the pack this is the boneless one and i'm also gonna use some unsalted land of lakes uh, margarine here i have my pumpkin that's already cut up my onion my spring onion some tomatoes some green bell pepper my thyme my garlic and some scotch bonnet pepper and i'm also going to be using some of my sazan gaia season over here guys i'm going to be making some smoothies so in here i have some strawberry some blackberries some banana i have my chia seed that i'm going to be using some flax seed and i'm going to be also using some of my organic um, powder that I use to make my smoothie. This is a protein powder that I use to put in to make my smoothie. Stick around, guys. But before I go any further, I want you guys to subscribe to my channel and to also like this video and give it a big thumbs up. Today's sponsorship is by We Talking Magazine. That's We Talking Magazine. Okay, guys. Thank you, guys. And now let's get into this cooking. So I'm going to show you how I season my shrimp. So I'm going to be using the Sazan Goya first. Put that on top okay I just use one packet of that I'm gonna put some black pepper just a little black pepper I'm gonna use some garlic powder and I'm gonna use one more seasoning guys one second I'm gonna use my obi obi is very good when you're doing seafood so I like to use Obey when I'm doing seafood. All right? And I'm gonna just mix this around. Mix everything around. Get it all marinated and everything. I'm gonna let this sit for about a few minutes. About 30 minutes, I'm going to let it sit so the seasoning can get marinated and soaked in. And I'll see you guys in the next segment. I already boiled up to add my pumpkin in. And I'm going to start adding in my pumpkin. I cut up my pumpkin, so I'm going to start adding in right now. I want the pumpkin to cook first. This is on a medium heat, guys. Then I'm cooking it on. Let's mix that around a little bit. Then I'm going to do my Maggie. Sorry, not my Maggie my um cock soup pumpkin flavored cock soup i want to get the noodles out i don't want the noodles in it so i'm gonna do it like that i just want the seasoning to be in it and not the noodles and that's it i'm gonna empty that in here i'm gonna mix this around I'm gonna cover it up, pumpkin guan cook, and I'll see you guys in my next segment. Okay guys, so you have my aki, right? My water is already boiled up and everything. I'm gonna be adding in my aki in that water. I rinse off my aki, I drain off the preservative water and rinse it off a little bit, and now I'm gonna add it in the boiling water. I'm gonna let my aki boil for a few minutes. Okay, that's how I do it from the can. And this is on a low flame. I don't want it to be, you know, get too mushy too fast so i'm gonna let it just boil for a few minutes and i'm gonna close it off and then i'm gonna start okay. so i already cook all right it's very soft all right so what i'm gonna start doing now i'm gonna add it in my um coconut milk i'm using two cans of my coconut milk watch what i'm doing guys and this is my way of cooking my season rice everyone has their own way of how they do their season rice 
this is my way of doing it okay guys so i'm just gonna mix that around and stir everything in start mixing it around then i'm gonna also add my mixed vegetable continue all right guys so my next step is i'm gonna add in my um, mixed vegetable all right i'm gonna let this boil in and everything but before i do that i'm going to add my margarine butter I'm going to be using two stick of this. That's one and two. Mix that around. Let this go and boil down. And when it comes down, then the next step is going to be my rice. And I'm going to be adding the rest of my ingredients. See you guys in my next part, segment. I'm gonna add some of my allspice in my um, coconut milk and my pumpkin. All right. All right. I'm gonna cover that back up and let that go and boil. All right. So the next step is here, guys. I already cut up my seasoning, so I'm gonna start frying up these. Okay, guys. So I'm going to start off with my, um, with my onions. I turn it down. I put it on a low flame because the pot was very, very hot. So I turn it down in a low flame. This is my um, spring onion that I'm adding in. And some of more of my um, red onion. This is my tomato. Some green hot pepper, green bell pepper, garlic, some thyme, more green bell pepper, garlic. So I'm just adding in everything. Let this saute. It's just saute for a few minutes. It's all about the flavor, guys. The flavor and the taste. You want your seasoned rice to have all that flavor in it. Everything to taste and to marinate in. Okay, guys? The next step is going to be my shrimp. Gonna turn it back up to medium. Okay, I'm gonna start doing my shrimp now. Just watch what I'm doing, guys. I'm getting my seasoning and my shrimp cooked together. Let this don't take too long to cook it just take a few minutes to cook no more than about 10 minutes max so I'm gonna just give this some more time to cook and I'll see you guys fish my pickup salt fish marinate with the, um, with the shrimp cook up everything together mmm it smells so good so good it smells I can smell all the flavor, everything. I love the way this is smelling. You want your seasoning and everything to cook up. 
I let my shrimp cook first, and then I add in my salt fish. I'm just mixing everything together. The next step is going to be my um, aki. So my aki, I told you guys that I uh, wash it off from the preservative water. I let it boil for a few minutes. I'll say about maybe eight minutes on a low heat. That's what I did. So what I'm doing here, I'm just mixing everything together. Mixing everything. Mixing the ackee, the shrimp. I'm mixing in everything. I'm gonna let this simmer down for a few minutes. Before I do that, I'm gonna add a little of the black pepper in it. Just add a little black pepper. Mix this back in again. So I'm gonna just let this simmer for a few minutes and then I'm gonna turn it off. Okay guys, see you in the next. All right guys, so this is all my saltfish and ackee and shrimp is looking guys it tastes really really good i tasted it and i'm just loving the taste the flavor everything turn up in it all right so this is finished cooking now i'm gonna start adding in my rice in my coconut milk water with my pumpkin so my rice is already rinsed and everything this is jasmine rice that i'm using so i'm gonna start adding in my rice and this is four cups of rice four cups of rice guys so i'm just gonna start adding in my rice Okay, guys, let's just go ahead and just add in everything. Mm. All right, so I'm just getting all the rice in. Mixing this around. All right. I have enough rice, the right amount of rice, enough water. You don't want too much water because you don't want it to be soft and saggy, and you don't want it to be too hard either for the grain to be hard and just no, come out right okay guys so you want the right amount of rice or the right amount of water not too hard not too soft so i'm gonna let this steam for a few minutes and i'm gonna add in the rest of my ingredients see you in the next segment okay, so here i'm gonna do my smoothie shake okay so what i have added in my smoothie shake i told you guys in my first video what i added as fruits i add some strawberry some some blueberries and some bananas ripe bananas okay so i've also added um one teaspoon of the flax seed and one teaspoon of the chia seed and i've added also added one cup of oats okay i just measured everything and also added one tablespoon of the the moringa powder this is a protein powder that i use to make my shake now i'm gonna also do some yogurt so i'm gonna add some yogurt in it as well you can use any yogurts of your choice it's totally up to you this is the yogurt that i use or i like to use to make my smoothie okay that's the mixed fruit with the blueberry and the raspberry and strawberry and this is the strawberry one by itself okay guys Put the top, cover it up. All right, and I'm gonna start to blend. I've also added 
one cup of whole milk okay guys so let me blend this and show you guys gonna look at it and see how it's looking okay guys I'm gonna show you how it's looking I'm gonna blend it some more I'm gonna blend it in some more and I'll see you guys in the next part guys so what I have done here I let the water for my rice um, let it dry down a little bit and let get all that water out. That's what I did with that. Okay. Now I'm gonna start adding in my um my shrimp and ak and everything. I'm gonna add all that flavor, everything in. I'm gonna add everything in. And then I'm gonna start to mixing everything i'm going to show you guys that part okay guys so i'll see you in the next part so you see where i have added my um my aki and my saltfish and shrimp so what i'm doing here i'm just mixing everything and i'm using a fork to do this all right all right you want to get everything mixed in take out that piece of time so what i'm going to do here i'm going to let this steam for a few more minutes I mixed in everything from top to bottom. Okay. I'm going to cover this up. Let it steam for a few minutes. All right. And I'll see you guys in the next part. All right, guys. As you can see, I've eaten most of my food. I can't go anymore. I'm completely full. The smoothie was a bomb like really really good i love it it was really 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 delicious everything is just delicious from the smoothie to the food guys try this recipe it's gonna be in the description box down below as i said give the biz this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like this video and don't forget to hit that bell this food was the bomb i love this season rice try it out See you in my next video, guys. Thanks for watching Leona's Kitchen.